All right, we know this. Phones are everywhere we go, and it can be pretty hard for a lot of us to disconnect. Yeah, but a new study is shedding light on the blue light that smartphones and tablets have on children. Joining us this morning is our Nine News health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley. Thanks so much for coming in. Good morning. So tell us about this study. Yeah, really incredible, actually. So we're seeing that kids are having earlier and earlier puberty, right? So what these Turkish researchers did was actually take rats, expose them to n normal daylight cycles, six hours of blue light or 12 hours of blue light, which is closer to what most of us and our children get. And they saw that they could actually trigger puberty a lot earlier what? with that high level of blue light exposure. Wow. Now that's the data in kids. In adults, we're seeing, and this is a study out of Harvard, that it can dysregulate your insulin regulation, your sugar levels, it can change your situation satiety and make you increased risk for obesity as well because we don't even realize how much our circadian rhythm regulates all of our other hormones. And before, all we've really heard is it kind of just affects your sleep in different ways, which tell us how that happens too. Yeah, so our circadian rhythm, which regulates sort of our sleep-wake cycle, usually about 24 hours for most of us. And if you think about how we evolved, there used to be just sunlight, right? Mm -hmm. So when the sun went down, the body got no light and it started releasing melatonin, which was a trigger to our brain that it's time to go to sleep. Then entered artificial light and LED light bulbs for example, give off blue light, our screens give off blue light, and all of a sudden that started disrupting our circadian rhythm because it suppresses that release of melatonin. It makes our eyes think we're still getting light, and so we don't get melatonin, we don't fall asleep as fast, and the quality of sleep is not as good. What about these blue light lens? I, I have the blue light lenses. <laughs> Do you use them? I, I've tried, I personally sure don't, work I, I don't yeah. know. Do they work? No, not really. <laughs> so they can't hurt you. So if you think you want to use them and you feel better using them, I'm all for it. But don't go and break the bank to try to get a blue light glass because it only blocks about 10 to 25% of the blue light. And the studies are showing that it really doesn't significantly impact the exposure. So really what does impact the exposure? Our behavior. Mm -hmm. That's where we really need I to change the things that we're that. doing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At night, especially the three hours before bedtime, where we really need to sort of start to train our brain. And what they're saying is that instead of blue light, use more red light at night and try to dim the lights as much as you can in preparation for bedtime. Give at least three hours of a gap before bedtime, before you're seeing a, a tablet, a smartphone, a TV screen, all the things, of course, that we're doing. Many of us lie in bed and watch TV. That's mm -hmm. the worst. Mm -hmm. I was about to say, I actually just had to recently change my habit. Now I read part of my book before I go to bed because Good. I love to read, but it also makes me tired in the first place, too. Yeah, which exactly. Kind of puts you down. Um, what about like when you're waking up? I reach for my phone first thing because, you know, we're getting ready to do the news and I want to make sure what did I miss while I was sleeping. How does that affect us? It, you know, when we wake up, oftentimes it's dark. And if you stimulate yourself with that blue light first, it's really, it, it triggers that circadian rhythm a bit too fast. Okay. So really you want to ease yourself out and ease yourself in. And then during the day, Jordan, lots of bright light because the sun is the biggest source of blue light. <laughs> she so say you, we're she doing said all me. the things <laughs> wrong, well, especially you. We all, we are, we're always doing all things wrong. We're the perfect example of Dr. Cole <laughs> used to everybody else of why you shouldn't do it. Because you can sort of trick your brain. So let's say you love that device at bedtime. If you blast yourself with blue light during the day, meaning you're spending time outdoors, you're getting 250 times as much blue light from the sun as you will from your tablet, then even if you're doing a little tablet at bedtime, or when you wake up first thing in the morning, your brain still sort of sees that differential and starts to regulate your hormones a little bit. Right, let's just get, get rid outside. of phones. Let's just get rid of phones. Yes, yeah, yeah, I all together. All. Dr. Dr. Coley, thank you.